Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the question, do reprints actually make Magic the Gathering cheaper? Now, the obvious answer is yes, but there is still this group of people who believe that reprints really don't do anything about the price of modern or legacy. They do. A lot. And the misconception comes from non-Magic players pointing to one card in particular, Tamagoyf. Tamagoyf, when it was reprinted in Modern Masters, which was a long time ago, that was five, four or five years ago, was it made the prices go up. And that was because the vendors, there was such low supply of it that the vendors could control it. Meaning at GP Las Vegas, they actually bought out every single copy that was opened at a above buy list price at the time. And it wasn't just one vendor, it was a collaboration of vendors. That's not gonna happen here because the supply is way more, way more than original Modern Masters. As you can see, the prices are just tanking. They are absolutely tanking. And I don't see the end of this uh, for a while. Remember, these cards haven't come out yet. These are just, just the pre-order prices. Once the pre-order prices are all done and the cards come out and we have 30 to 45 days, the prices will drop even more than what we're seeing today. And every day goes down and down and down. Now, supply is not the issue. Demand is also kind of not the issue. I assume Modern is still a healthy format. That's the assumption I'm going to make for the rest of the video. So when you look at Snapcaster Maids, he's at $36, $35. So we can look at the low here because the low here is pre-order and it's near mint. We don't need to look at the median. You can get a Snapcaster Mage for $35. That's pretty good. I see him plumbing in down to 25, maybe even under 20. This set will be open a lot. This set will be stored a lot. This set will have so much supply uh, because it's not a, a non-WPN store of any type can get their hands on this product. It's not exclusive, it's not going to be price hoarded, it's not going to be into that local game store who just charges like double what everything else costs, right? No, he's going to have a lot of competition, and the competition is already online. Overall, I'm very happy with the prices I'm seeing. It is a huge reduction in price. I don't want people to say, oh, well, you know, Mountain got more expensive as a reprint. No, that's highly illogical uh, for this particular set. Marsh Flats is under $25. If you want it in near mint, pre-order Marsh Flat for under $25, go for it. This card will probably fall to 15 at the low and then go back up. The other interesting part, I don't know if they intentionally did this or not, but when they double reprinted Eternal Masters or whatever, you, like there's a lot of people saying a lot of different stuff about Eternal Masters. Who really cares? I just, it's a, it's a second print run for me. When they did that, they spooked the market big time. So people just want to drop this stuff and get rid of it. Like they want to drop it and get rid of it because if they don't do it, Eternal Masters can happen to them. And that was a disaster, right? Eternal, if you had the opportunity to sell boxes for 300, but you wanted to store them from long term, which a lot of stores and distributors did, and then you see that the box is like 170 a mass drop, it's 165 on eBay shipped to the customer you're not you're gonna be you're gonna be pissed voice this card is 1050 it's gonna go down below 10 for a voice this card used to be 40 dollars flat like no problem and now you can get a play set for what you could get one of them so yes this is a huge reduction and you should take it if you like modern and you believe in the health of the format that's the only one assumption remember i made that assumption that may not be correct so all of this changes if that assumption is not correct. If modern is not healthy or will not be healthy in the future, then yeah, these cards will tank to oblivion. But that won't actually be true great of an investment, I feel like. These cards are just tanking, tanking, tanking. Misty Rainforest, under $30. Like, wow, this is, used to be a $100 card. Um, now you can get plays at it for it. I mean, I'm sure that eventually you can get plays at it for under 100 which is crazy for this type of quality of power, power and this uh, it's played as a four of in so many different decks in Legacy and Modern. So 
yeah, reprints drastically reduce prices. They hit prices pretty hard. They are not something that I would, uh, they are definitely something that if you have any interest in modern and you believe in the continued support of modern from either local game stores or from someone who is not Wizards of the Coast, then now is the time to get in. Now is the time to be like, okay, I'm going to save money. 60 days after the set comes out, I'm going to spend it and buy all these stuff because that's how you make a gauntlet. That's how you make your decks. So again, when you look at the modern prices, everything is pre-hyped. It's um, too high right now. It's, it's funny to think that these prices we're looking at is too high, right? Because they are one-fourth, like Voice is one-fourth of what I'm used to seeing him at. Uh, a lot of the cards are one-half what they used to be. But it is too high. Within, you know, as soon as it's released and more the product actually gets out, and as soon as um, this stuff happens and as soon as more and more stuff is opened, expect a huge plummet in price. Like these prices we're looking at today are just historical reference. And 30, 60 days, 90 days, I'll make another video and I'm positive that these prices cannot hold, especially since the supply is very, very high on this product. Anyway, that's it guys. Leave me a comment. Bye.